But in your system, you try to get mixture of everything. Because when it comes to produce energy, in the next step, you need a soup of GANs. When you collect these at the bottom, you get a syringe, you extract it, you put it on under a heater to dry it from liquid. What do you do? You extract this part, you put it on a plate, you let it dry, or you dry it with a lamp and dry it much faster. It took me ages to dry one. And I almost said, oh, it's easier to do. Just a light, heating light, and it dries it in a couple of hours, and by morning you have the right paste. So you need, oh yes, you have to wash the salt out. But the thing, yeah, when you extract it, I forgot one place, the other guru reminds me, you have to wash the salt out because you created this in a salt condition. Then dry your GANs, not to a paste yet, but to a liquidish, um, like a running soup, but not uh, like more, uh, not liquid liquid, like a stew. That's the word I was looking for. So now you made your nano-coated springs the way we saw. Then what you need to do, you get this stew, thin soup, which you made, has to be very th running, but not thick. You fill it up into the bottom of your container, and all you do, very, very gently, you get hold of your rings, and you just put your rings, nano-coated rings, inside it, and just shake it till it gets fully covered with a soup. You take it out, and you just let it dry. It has to dry totally. Now, the most important part of the whole operation is this soup. If you put your nano-coat material together, you get nothing. You see, it does not work. Now, with a soup, you have attached the sun to it, the energy unit to it. The secret is putting the GANs as a soup back on the spring, on the nano-coating. Now, the the soup, the gans of the soup becomes everlasting supply to already superconductor layer here. These layers of superconductors will carry the energy of the plasma back into the superconductor level because it's a matter of state, or if you make it strong enough, into the copper as an AC feed. So now, you understand? That's the simplicity. That's been the part of the breakthrough in the technology. Without this, if you put these together, two nano-coated material will give you nothing. Once you put it through the soup and you let it dry, if it's not totally dry, you will get a big bang because now you have water molecules, which when you put the energy of the current through it, they just explode, they evaporate. So what you're going to end up with is this. Two ends, and when you look, you see it's a very, very dusty white wash. This is your power supply. This is the oil fields of the universe. This is the backbone of the technology. This is the breakthrough part of which you've been waiting for. Without it, it does not work because, as my grandmother used to say, if you haven't had breakfast, you expect to understand the school, there is nothing in there. She meant the stomach. You can't work without the fuel. So this is the secret to the whole package. The GANs which you produce, I explained to you again how you do, how you make this powder, this liquid. It has to be fully saturated. You let it dry. If you are not happy with it, you don't think it's been done good enough, when it's dried, do it the second time. There is no hurry. This is what I said to somebody recently. 
man has been waiting for this for millions of years. Take your time. One or two days does not make much difference. But do it correctly. When you come to use what you're producing for your system, power ratio of the plasma comes into play. Copper is 59, 60, something in that region. But if you oxidize it, whoop, now it's 59 plus 32. That gives you a 5, that gives you 95. You see the difference? It's the difference, if you understand, between this total roll and this total roll. You have a stronger plasma. And a stronger plasma is what you're looking for. That, what it is, you've got to understand now why I put this formula on the top. Here is 95. Plasmatic magnetic field strength. Here is 59. You can see the gradient of the field strength where the energy flows inwards. That's why if you just produce copper, you won't get that good result because then it's 59 against 59, maybe some oxidization. But when you make sure you have a mixture, even if you can make a composite gas, that this goes to 200, 250, you get a better power supply. Because there's more energy can come out of the system. Some of you say, I made a system, it didn't work, there was something wrong with it. You don't understand the work of the plasma, that you need plasma gradient. It's the difference between this plasma and this plasma. That's the only difference. So you want to work with this and then you blame it doesn't work because you missed the big boy. When you add, you allow, you even if you can make these things of a heavier element, if you can make these of the heavier element, go to above copper, go for heavier materials, go even for plutonium, go for uranium, I'll teach you what that comes to. It's not radioactive. Non-radioactive plutonium is part of your life. You all carry part of it in your body, even though you think, what? We all are the most effective nuclear power stations we call the human body. Without it, we don't exist. So, look for very heavy metals, Nanocoat them, they will nanocoat it a slightly different way because you need a high temperature to create a, a what they call nano coating. And then coat your copper line with that. You find 200 to 59 is a big difference. The gradient is much, much bigger. The more powerful system. Then you see how your system is going to be powered when we come to the next step.